Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, uh, guys, uh, let's take a look today at the Japanese Yen uh, because here we also have the interesting scenario that stands on the progress and from time to time it also needs some update. On the euro currency, guys, on the setup that we have discussed yesterday, uh, some hints on the retracement have appeared. So if you'll take a look at the follow time frame chart on euro currency, you'll see that market actually has formed free drive buy pattern. So we have told uh, about yesterday, so if we wouldn't, will not get the double repo, then probably some harmonic or classical pattern could be formed, some wage or something of that sort. So um, that it was the free drive, but the minimum target of this pattern already has been completed. Uh, so right now is a major question whether Euro will show the bit deeper retracement up. But based on action that we see right now on the Euro currency, it, it's very probable. So uh, currently market has formed the upside reversal swing on the Euro currency on the intraday chart and uh, has the chances to continue most slightly high. So maybe the minimum level that we have specified yesterday, I mean the trade resistance, uh, that we have talked yesterday could could be uh, could be reached, but on the daily chart it looks like just minor consolidation. So all progress mostly stands on the four-hour time frame chart on the hourly chart. That's why actually it's not much to talk on the Eurocons today. That's why we have decided to uh, make an update on the Japanese yen. So on the Japanese yen, guys, if you remember, our major background, uh, major driving pattern is the huge bearish engulfing on the monthly chart. Actually, this leg down is the second part of this engulfing, while this action here is the upside candle, white candle of this engulfing. Usually, when market forms engulfing patterns on um, higher time frames, on the monthly chart and weekly chart, on the lower time frames, on the daily, um, it could take the shape of the some ABCD pattern. That was our idea, and uh, we have started this trading process as soon as monthly pattern has been formed, right in this point. Here it was ABC retracement back inside of the body of the engulfing. It's also very probable and in most cases this happens. Uh, that was our suggestion that market should could reach this area and here it could reestablish move down because that was very comfortable area because this was ABCD target and 618 resistance in agreement. That was very suitable for establishing on downward action. That's indeed has happened. So you can see market is start dropping here. Our last uh, update that we have uh, made on, the, on this scenario was in this point, because here was, you can see, minor ABCD target to the downside. And uh, this also was daily ever sold. And we said probably minor retracement here is possible. So this has happened. What we have right now, right now we have uh, here, you can see side by side two bearish grabbers. On the daily chart, both of them suggest this minimum target is taken out of these lows. So market should drop below these lows. But at the same time, as you can see, market already stands below the 618 target. And the next logical destination point stands right here. It's 100% extension and completion of our scenario with this ABCD pattern. So this target stands approximately at 1 rate 50 probably. Right. So. Also, it stands very close to the major 618 support. This will be some kind of the agreement, but it's not really very important. Uh, the, the major importance stands with the target. It's 1 over 850, some the final destination point. That should be reached. So it means that as market will complete the grabber's target, it will be in a halfway to completion of the ABCD target. And it means that this will be a significant chance that Sandit will reach this target. Actually, here is also will be some kind of the free space, so market doesn't have here any significant supports on barriers on the way down. That's important. Overall action to the downside looks pretty nice. So you can see these downward candles here, nice slope. You can see the slope even here faster than this one. So this is a good sign for downward continuation. Uh, on the intraday charts, guys, on the four-hour time frame chart, this action could take the shape of the bottom to the downside. 
because if you will measure the extension, it's 1618 extension of this butterfly, you will see that it stands mostly in the same areas. 10877, it's 10850, just 25 pips. It's not really big difference for the targets. And it could be just uh, completely both of them some uh, noise, some fluctuations from the market. So mostly we could say that they stand in the same point. Here is our retracement that we have specified. So you can see this was completed pips to pips. So its confluence resistance was 11240. So also natural support resistance, previous lows was there. And so there are probably market already established, already test this area. This has happened, market has dropped lower. Now, um, speaking on the perspective of a few hours, this probably could be some a bit more upper continuation because as you can see this is too small for the wing of the butterfly. So it will be better if market will form some kind of great action to that side. From that standpoint, uh, you could take a look at our chart. And here, for example, market could take the shape of some ABC patch to the upside and reach 111 area. This will be confidence resistance on the hourly chart. It's very close to the weekly pivot point. So that will be probably the possible destination uh, of the in the hourly chart, and this is the point where the right wing could start. This could become the top of the right wing. So after that, market could reestablish move down. So that's what we think about the Japanese yen. So that being said, on the daily chart, our bear stop is still valid. We are expecting the reaching of the one or eight fifty in the perspective. And um, probably current week, maybe maybe on, on this week, its target target will be completed. Uh, at the same time. The downward continuation could take the shape of the butterflies we have specified on the 4 hour time frame chart. Uh, and the downward action could be reestablished approximately from 111 area. Based on the hourly charts, this will be strong resistance, narrow around weekly pivot point, and some kind of the ABCD target. So 111, 111, 15, the scenario where market could reestablish move down and starting the final part of the butterfly and start action to the 108, 51 rate, 75 area.